Hey, you kids. Joey here, and we're in our last week of experimental. Today, we are finishing up our lesson on the Ten Commandments. But before we begin, let's offer our praise and worship to God by singing this song. So today's true story is from the book of Exodus, chapters 19 and 20. In our lesson, we'll see that God had a special message for Moses to share with the people of Israel. Let's take a look. few kids. Welcome back to our experimental series where we are using our brain power and science experiments to understand God's Word, the Bible. Speaking of the Bible, we have a very interesting story for you today. Check it out. Remember how Moses had a meeting with God at Mount Sinai? God wanted to show the Israelite people how they should live, so he wrote the Ten Commandments on stones and gave them to Moses. Now, the first four commandments shows how to love God. You shall have no other gods before me. Do not make statues of gods. Do not misuse the name of the Lord. Remember to keep the Sabbath day holy. And the last six commandments show us how we should love people. I will tell you the commandment and my lab partner will explain what it means. Five, honor your father and mother. So be respectful and obey your parents. Six, do not murder. Do not kill others on purpose. Seven, do not commit adultery. That means you stay faithful to the person that you marry. Eight, do not steal. Do not take what doesn't belong to you. Nine, do not be a false witness against your neighbor. That means you should not lie. 10. Do not want anything your neighbor owns. Do not want what other people have. Instead, be happy with what God has given you. These 10 commandments are very important, and they can all be summed up into two commandments. Love God and love people. Today's big idea, love people. Let's fill the beaker by answering questions in today's story. Today's story is found in which book of the Bible? 
Exodus or Matthew? Exodus. What is the name of the mountain where Moses and God meet? Mount Sinai or Mount Ararat? Mount Sinai. Who wrote the Ten Commandments on the stone tablets? God or Moses? God. Which commandment says to honor your father and mother? The seventh or the fifth? The fifth commandment. Woohoo! Great job! Now it's time to check out some fun facts. We know that God made all people, and we are pretty amazing creatures. Did you know the human heart is about the size of your fist? Yet it is so strong that it has enough pressure to send blood up to the fourth floor of a building. You probably know that everyone has a different fingerprint, but did you know that we all have different tongue prints? Did you know that while awake, the human brain produces enough electricity to light a small light bulb? And God not only made us all, He loves us all. Today's big idea is love people. The Ten Commandments sound like a lot of rules. How does following rules help me love people? Hey Eastview Kids, I'm Pastor Amy and I'm here to answer all your experimental questions. Great question. The Ten Commandments show us how to love people God's way. They show us right from wrong. They show us how to treat people with respect, and they show us how to keep people safe and at peace. They are 10 good rules that God gifted to his people. It's time to examine our memory verse. Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Excellent job. I wonder what the professor is doing. Hello again. You know, God made each of us different. All different colors, sizes, and personalities. It's wonderful. Take a look at this experiment. Isn't that amazing? When God looks at his children, he sees a beautiful picture of all the types of people who make up his family. So remember today's big idea. Love people. Wasn't that a fun experiment? Well, this week's lesson focused on the last six commandments, which show us how to love people God's way. God created all of us unique, beautiful, and in His image. I pray that you treat everyone with love and respect today, and every day. Now, I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. Press pause, read them together, and talk about it. We'll see you next week.